Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 226 of Report This Post, the podcast about bad posts and bad people. My name is Geiger, and that is Christian. Jamie, bring that up. And we're your hosts with the post. Every week, Christian, myself, or a listener select a different topic and then find horrible posts for your listening pleasure. And this week's topic, as chosen by us, is Joe Rogan. Mm-hmm. That's right. Now, for some of our uh, uneducated listeners out there, uh, folks who've never heard of what a podcast is and are yet somehow listening to this thing, uh, who the hell is Joe Rogan? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. So Joe Rogan started off as a stand-up comedian. Uh, he then signed a deal with Disney, uh, which uh, got him roles on the sitcoms Hardball and then probably most famously uh, Talk Radio. Uh, which kind of launched news radio, him. Right? news radio. Yes. Excuse me. Um, uh, then after that, he became a, uh, UFC interviewer and commentator, mm-hmm. uh, which he, uh, did throughout the two thousands. Uh, he, he also briefly had a stint as the host to the second iteration of the man show, uh, uh-huh. with, along with Doug Stanhope, which yes. I uh, thought about that today for some reason. And he also hosted, hosted the game uh, Fear Factor, yep. also in the, the mid-aughts. Um, then you think he went back to stand-up, and during that time, uh, when he wasn't doing very well as a stand-up comedian, he got onto the podcast uh, thing in 2008 or 2009, I think. And mm-hmm. boy, I tell you, uh, by 2015, uh, this article I'm reading says it was one of the most popular podcasts in the world. Mm-hmm. And in 2020, Spotify obtained exclusive distribution rights to his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, for $200 million. <laughs> God damn. That sure is a silly amount of money. Uh but I guess they make their money. I don't know. How do they make the money? Do they have ads? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So Spotify, if you don't have Spotify premium, you get ads within your mm-hmm. stuff. And I believe if you, even if you do have the premium, I don't use Spotify. Uh, we've discussed this in the past. I use YouTube music uh, mm-hmm. to listen to stuff, uh, which I think I'm one of, of eight people that do that. Yeah. So. I've never heard of anyone else ever <laughs> doing that. It's fascinating. <laughs> But I've heard more people use that one than I've heard anyone use like title or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, there's a guy I'm friends with on on Instagram who will post things from title, and it's like, <laughs> oh my! I don't even God. I can't even imagine what that thing looks like, or I, I have no idea. But someone it's it's out there for somebody, I guess. But okie dokie. Um, yeah, Joe Rogan, very odd career this guy's had. He was a uh, First of all, as we discussed in an earlier episode, he was the uh, same high school as Louis C.K. Yep. They were in the same class together, I believe. Uh, he started just doing comedy in Boston, just kind of a pretty generic comedy. He was always uh, he was a real cutie back in his early days. And uh, Whoa, had landed, a hair. landed him roles in uh, acting and all sorts of stuff, commercials, I'm guessing, probably sitcoms. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I remember watching him on news radio and being like, "This guy's kind of seems like a he's, he plays a good dumb guy. He's a, a real everyman, right?" And uh, he really took that to <laughs> its logical <laughs> conclusion <laughs> by sitting across from from Neil deGrasse Tyson and saying, oh, "No, now explain that to me. Yeah, I'll talk more about that." Uh, and uh, yeah, he's uh, his podcast. I remember when it came out. And I remember thinking, oh boy, that guy, that 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 sitcom guy. All right. And uh, then he would interview more and more people, and I don't know. I didn't never really listen to it a lot back in the day. I've actually listened to it more recently just to like check it out because he gets he does several a week, right? And, I think so. Yeah, two or three and, a week. And there's always it's a very interesting array of guests. And when he just has comedians on, it's usually just dumb goofy shit and a lot of jokes that he does not understand from the other guy. <laughs> Ooh, boy, it's wild. <laughs> he is not. He is a very dumb guy. But it is fascinating how a guy who's just kind of dumb and just sits there and nods is uh, uh, talked about as if he's a literally Hitler by a lot of people online. <laughs> I am sh- in shock. If you actually listen to him, he's just... <laughs> 
He just kind of <laughs> sits there and lets the other guy talk. Doesn't really have a lot of actual opinions about things that aren't uh, nutrition, uh, fighting, and uh, pretty basic stand-up comedy stuff. So anything beyond that, it's really hard to get much out of him. So it's very funny that a lot of people think he's evil. And I'm guessing it's because they've listened to exactly zero seconds of him ever and they're just sort of going with what their uh, friends on Twitter are saying. Probably. Uh, oh, man, that rocks. Yeah, but that's kind of how it is with every everything online these days. And uh, Yeah, you don't need to have your own opinion on stuff because it will be told yep. to you. Yeah. You, what you could say is, like, I don't know anything about Joe Rogan, don't care. And then that's it. You just kind of move on with your that's life. you know what that's kind of my feeling <laughs> on the matter i'm very i'm a very passive neutral party to this whole thing uh, you really I feel, shouldn't have opinions on a stand-up comedian who has a podcast it's like I mean, unless, unless they're a woman and then yeah and then that's when the real fur starts flying if you know what i mean unless there's fifty dollars for an article you can write about it <laughs> on some website that will be defunct in six months <laughs> Then by golly, you have an opinion. <laughs> really good. S- seven hours of writing an article, forty bucks in the bank. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yeah, that's gonna lie. That's buying me groceries for the next two months. <laughs> Not these women. Uh, so. Uh, now, a listener did not choose this episode. In fact, I chose this episode because Rogan is in the news all the time. People just can't stop yapping about this motherfucker. So I said, let's just talk about him. There's plenty of dumb bullshit online about it. So uh, that's why I chose it. And of course, in solidarity with one of our colleagues, our podcasting colleagues, it's always fun when we do a podcast about podcasters. Those are usually our more, most popular episodes. So... I guess that's all we should do. I guess, yeah. Uh, seems that podcasts about other podcasters are further reaching than the uh, other podcasts we do. So I guess that tells us something. Uh, doesn't tell us anything good. <laughs> now, if someone <laughs> were to choose an episode topic, how would they do that? Well, they have a couple different options. The first and probably easiest is to go over to reportthispost.com, click on the buy topic button, put in your credit card information. We will get an alert that you would like to purchase an episode topic in our little email inbox. But Mm -hmm. if you do that, sure, you get an episode topic, but you don't get to listen to bonus episodes. You don't Mm -hmm. get to listen to the full episode every week of every topic that we cover. Mm -hmm. So even if you bought a topic, if you don't go over to patreon.com slash report this post and become a patron of the podcast, you won't hear the whole thing. Now, if Mm -hmm. you want to do that, I don't care. Money's money. You know, it all wipes the same way. You know what I mean? I care. So I prefer you to do the one that gives us more money. In fact, I say just do both methods just in case. You go People over to- have done that, sure. fascinatingly <laughs> enough. People have done that multiple times. If you head on over to Patreon and join at the mod level for $10 a month and stay a patron for three months, you get to choose an episode topic. Mm-hmm. And you get all that good stuff I talked about earlier. Or if you join at the admin level and pay $25 a month, you get to pick an episode topic. You get all the free stuff after two months. And I will draw you a picture of whatever you would like, which we haven't done that in a while. I haven't gotten mm-hmm. any of those last couple of people that uh, joined at the $25 level. Didn't want anything drawn. Uh, so interesting, deeply uh, insulting. No doubt. You know what? That's fine. Uh, it's actually less work for more money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's hard to be too upset about it. Uh, every single time I release a bonus episode, I get a little email alert from some wonderful patron saying, Great episode. Love, love the Patreon. Fantastic stuff. It really is a wonderful. It's one of the best deals in town, folks. I don't know how you can beat the deal. If you like the podcast, if you like bad posts, if you, you like, like the hosts. or Now, that's one of the least likely things. But if any of those <laughs> are true, you really ought to go over to patreon.com slash report this post. You won't regret it. Well, I can't. Oh, say that, that, sound, sure, but that sounds that's unbelievable. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, speaking of regret it, why don't we read stuff from Reddit? 
great. Oh, <laughs> brother. Uh, strapping, strapping in for this one. Some of slog. Hey, a now deleted Reddit user posted this on the subreddit. Our relationship advice. Mm-hmm. My boyfriend will watch videos and podcasts of Joe Rogan pretty much constantly in the car, in the shower, when he gets home from work. And he basically just loves the guy. I've seen a lot of stuff about how Joe Rogan is misogynistic and it's worrying me. Does anyone have any proof of what Joe Rogan has done? I'm unsure whether to be worried about this. Stewie Cat Ball Cat replied, why don't you just watch the videos and make up your own mind? I mean, WTF, you don't even know yet and you don't want to put the effort in. You're asking for everyone else's opinion, which is definitely going to be subjective. Why don't you use your own mind and morals and decide for yourself? The ovary responded, Jesus Christ, someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. And Stewie Cat Ball Cat said, nah, just grow the fuck up and find out yourself. Honestly, it's sad that you can't think of yourself and rely on the opinions of strangers to tell you how to feel about a podcast. Just listen to a handful and make up your own mind. It's really simple. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much both of them are on the <laughs> right side here. Like, yeah, just go ahead and do it, make up your mind. And also, shut. why are you upset about this? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, here's an opinion for you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Ugh, yeah. I'm I'm worried that he's misogynist. Does anyone have proof? The, that's what, a, that's a funny yeah. thing to have proof of that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, uh, there was a there was this note left at a crime scene that says I Joe Rogan and misogy it's all cut out, it's cut out letters paste. Yeah. Can you solve this riddle, Batman? The proof is that Reductress said he's a. a <laughs> oh, I haven't, what I haven't else thought about that in a while. Besides that, yeah, uh, that's fun. There's a uh, several similar stories about girlfriends terrified their boyfriends are listening to uh, what is the most popular podcast on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, they're listening to. Uh, eight hours a day of women talking about other people getting murdered and they think yeah. that's normal. Yeah. Yeah. I listened to, uh, some, uh, cutesy comedians describe an unbelievable detail, a woman being raped and sodomized with a knife, uh, sitting at my fucking office job. Is there something wrong with my boyfriend? <laughs> listening to a comedian, listen to other comedians. Seems like he has a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that is, it's weird to square the circle. Uh, no pun intended with the, this MMA thing of, okay. uh, oh, of, uh, of, uh, the fact that he's this evil Nazi guy, but also it's, it's the most mainstream possible thing on the planet right now. Podcast wise. No, just like the most accessible piece of media. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I feel like he can't be both unless, the millions of people that listen to it are just Nazis, which yeah, I guess is, are, which yeah. is just, which, <laughs> I forgot because everyone's a Nazi now. Yeah, that's right. It's a cool uh, thing to do. Believe you me. Hey, uh, <laughs> new seven, eight, three, eight, three, five posted that this moral dilemma over on the subreddit are witches versus patriarchy. I was scrolling through Instagram when an ad for Spotify came up. It was advertising a playlist to use to set the mood when doing your rituals, or just if you want to imagine you're a lady warrior <laughs> kicking the patriarchy in the junk. While the preview was pretty cool, it made me pause. Spotify got all controversial when they bought Joe Rogan on board. While I haven't listened to him in ages, I used to like when he interviewed celebs like Rob Zombie. Hmm. I'm also of the opinion that he spread false information on COVID and the vaccine. Maybe mm. I'm in my head too much, but I would, with all honesty, love to hear the closest thing I've got to a coven's take on it. Oh, boy. Now, Abby Boston said, hey, I dropped Netflix after watching the Dave Chappelle rant that they called a comedy show. So you got to do what you feel is right. Well, practically, there's no compassionate consumerism under capitalism. We all do the best we can. And uh, Becky Detecki said, I switched from Spotify to Napster a while ago and feel better about it. <laughs> what the fuck? So apparently Napster's still around. 
<laughs> is this how I find out that <laughs> Napster is still a thing? Okay. Uh, Napster.com. Yep. It is, in fact, a streaming service. Wow. Nine ninety nine a month, Jesus Christ! Huh. Um, I can't. I just kind of curious. I can't understand how there's so many. There only needs to be one thing that you listen to music on. Yeah, there only needs to be one thing. Jeez, the radio. Yeah, that's right. That's right. The freaking tube. The tube radio. Holy um, shit! This Napster. I'm looking at the app. The uh, Windows program it looks exactly like Spotify. Sure. Oof. Wouldn't it be I funny know. if it was just like owned by Spotify and they just reskinned it and they're just selling it? That would be so good. That, I mean, I'm looking at it now. That might not be off. Probably was. That's very funny. Cool. Uh, who the he- I would love to know how many people are listening to Napster these days. Don't get me wrong. Napster was, I remember discovering it in 1999 and it changed Ooh. my life. You get but, some music off of there if you were lucky, if it was the actual right song. Oh boy! Found, found discovered a lot of songs by way on of accident. Yeah. Right <laughs> uh, yeah, using Napster. What a what a witchy thing to do. I guess. Yeah, well, I, I do have to say, with the OP's opening, uh, that she liked it when he interviewed people like Rob Zombie. It's like, of course, this woman is like, that's her like top echelon of celebrities is Rob Zombie. So. Well, I do not care what Rob Zombie thinks about anything. <laughs> I can't imagine caring. I'm sure he has some thoughts on like, uh, I don't know what uh, a- HR puff and stuff. It's probably eight hours of him and Joe Rogan talking about uh, TV shows from the seventies. And they're like, yeah, that would be a cool movie. Yeah. It's like, well, thanks for coming on Rob. Yeah. He's got a sort of horror version of Tarantino vibe to him, but uh, I would say it's more like Kevin, shittier movies. Kevin Smith, I think. Mm. You know, they're all kind of in the same genre. Boy, Just, get those guys together. You know, when they had like Martin Scorsese and, uh, you know, uh, everybody, all the other, you know, the great cinemas guys sit mm-hmm. down and talk together, you know. Uh, imagine getting like Tarantino and Rob Zombie and uh, Kevin Smith and mm-hmm. what a... Uh, uh, I don't know who, who else? else is a shitty. <laughs> who else sucks? Except Tarantino, but we can uh, we can talk more about Tarantino at a later date. I... Or did we already? I don't even remember. No, no, we didn't. <laughs> didn't. Uh, we'll talk about a little it spoiler. Yeah. Time. yeah, I guess so. I'm not even. I, I would have sworn we already did that one. All no, right. it's like six months <laughs> from now. It's fine. Don't worry about. It. <laughs> All right. There you go, folks. Cool. Enjoy that teaser. <laughs> we won't. We won't remember it. So it's fine. Speaking of famous folks, back in January of 2020, Joe had Barry Weiss on his mm-hmm. show <laughs> and mentioned that he was probably going to vote for Bernie Sanders. A name I wish I, if there was a god, I would have no idea who that was. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, I got You got to know who it is and know what she looks like. So Joe saying that he was going to vote Real smoke show. You're right. Whew. Joe saying that he was probably going to vote for Bernie was somehow taken as an endorsement, and that spread all over the internet. And a friend of the show, Charlotte Clymer, had this mm. to say about it: "So weird that the rollout of the celebrated Joe Rogan sort of kind of endorsement didn't make a difference. It's almost like needlessly alienating key progressive voters in a Democratic primary in order to appease potential general election voters is ill-advised in said primary. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a trans woman who turns into a giant bitch when a candidate embraces the support of someone who considers me invalid as a human being. Mm -hmm. Joe Rogan endorses race science and said that some races have lower IQs than others and lamented people can't Mm -hmm. talk about it. He called Mm -hmm. trans women, quote, fucking men and spreads disinfo on trans children. He regularly drops the N word. A person named Maralia replied, I would rather have Biden because he will bring Warren into his administration in a key role, whereas Bernie mm. won't. His surrogates aren't experienced enough. To which Charlotte responded, but Warren should have dropped out and, did, <laughs> and is to blame for this. What? <laughs> which, what? Oh, this was during the, the early 2020 yeah. when uh, everything uh, was uh, everybody else's fault when uh, 
people like yeah. Elizabeth Warren dropped out. And of course, Charlotte had to find fault with uh, everybody except her own candidate that she uh, would basically crucify herself for. So, Boy, yeah, that was that was really one of the dumbest times online. Uh, I remember when Bernie was on Rogan and the discourse was as stupid as i've ever seen it. Mm-hmm. this is i mean this is like it distilled down into just a pure chaos emerald of stupidity on it's just like you just don't need to care about this like it, yeah this matters. he's doing an interview on a podcast doesn't really mean anything except that except that he's doing an interview on a podcast and it became unbelievably huge fucking talk and the fact that people literally think he lost because of that is so it's just hilarious that that's even possible to form that opinion like what there's not one person that didn't vote for bernie because he was on broken that doesn't make any fucking <laughs> sense that is the dumbest shit and I would say there's probably very few people that voted for him because he was on Rogan. Yeah, was, probably. Yeah. He was just on there getting the word out. And people either already liked him or they didn't. Doesn't really matter that much. Platform's a platform, right? So you know, it's it's but it's also just there's so much content about everything now, especially every fucking candidate running for president. It's not like People listening to Rogan, for the most part, are probably, yeah, I know all about this fucking guy. <laughs> and I either like the guy or I don't like the guy. <laughs> At this point, if I'm listening to this shit, I know about the guy. <laughs> Whatever, that was fun. Really looking forward to 2024. <laughs> Thankfully, I will be nowhere near a computer by then <laughs> to read any of this dog shit. And speaking of uh, Twitter... Uh, celebrity actress Alyssa Milano went on a long rant back in 2020 over there on Twitter, as she loves to do. My heart aches for all our kids who will probably wipe down groceries and wear gloves to go get the mail when they are grown-ups. All the athletes and artists and thinkers we can't nurture and the social development we won't develop because they are just home. And everything is fucked. So fucked that a sleeping woman can be shot and killed and the people who killed her aren't arrested. Black lives matter still, you racist assholes. And babies can be locked in cages, and we don't break them out and demand they're reunited with their mamas. That's how fucked this is. We're just like, don't look away, retweet me. And Native Americans have to fight to get a major sports team renamed because their name is so horribly offensive. But they refuse for years because racism is just as American as apple pie. We live in a world where Joe Rogan's podcast has triple the listeners as mine. Dear God. <laughs> I had to squeak that one in. Oh, by the sure. way, the one, I, the only thing that deserved all caps, everything else was actually lowercase, and now it's like, but really, let's get to the heart of the matter here. Oh, my God. And by the way, it's probably more like a thousand times more listeners. <laughs> like triple is not now. What even is her podcast? You know, I do, you know, it's a great question. Um, I, while you while you were talking about that, I was thinking what could possibly be a takeoff of who's the boss. Uh, mm-hmm. That would be a, a podcast, but I came up with nothing. So, hey, folks out there and listening, uh, just go ahead and shoot us over what you think uh, Alyssa Milano's uh, podcast could be called. Yeah, she really went uh, fucking bonkers bat shit too, huh? She really yeah, she went, went Hollywood white woman. She just kind of, as they uh, want to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, every, if everyone you, in Hollywood just kind of went crazy. You, if you have that much money and like you don't, you like literally do not have to work or like even step foot into society, like just shut up. Like, what the fuck? Who cares? Like, just don't, it, nothing matters. Your life is you're uh, set for the rest of your life. I don't know if she is. I don't know what she even, what has she done? Besides well, now that she's lost all her damn podcasts, uh, that's true. Probably our listeners. There's plenty who shouldn't be online all the time, but I think the I think it's so appealing to act to actors because they don't work. They're just home all the time. They have nothing going on, so it's like, well, I guess I'll look at my phone all day. It's so bizarre. Like the amount of 
people who are online all the time who live in like beautiful places or live in like New York where every single street is filled with wonder and art and they're just inside their $5,000 apartment looking at their phone is very funny to me. Or they live in a crazy <laughs> house in Beverly Hills and they're just on their phone. <laughs> Holy moly. What are you doing? <laughs> you shouldn't even have a phone. It's like, oh, this thing, this thing's stupid. What do I even care about this shit? Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> it's like rich people. There's no, there's like rich people that look like shit. There's really just no excuse. Like it's just rich and famous people should just not look like some of them just look bad. Yeah. Some of the oh, richest yeah, people in the world look uh horrific and uh there really is no excuse for that. So mm-hmm. uh, they should God be ashamed of, of themselves. They should be ashamed of pissing us off with their, kill- eyes, with their <laughs> eyes. They should kill us. <laughs> All right. Well, that's certainly an idea. Anyway, I hope Alyssa's podcast has recovered since twenty twenty. I can't even fathom listening to that thing don't know what it would take for me to do that but it it would, it would never happen sorry not sorry tackling social political and culture issues oh sorry not sorry Oof. she gets real on this and she's not ashamed <laughs> One of her most recent episodes is uh, TikTok fluencers and activists. Oh, Ooh, boy. God. Absolutely Brother. not. Brother. Yeah, good luck to her. Whatever. R- uh, RIP to Mona from Who's the Boss. <laughs> hey, we mentioned earlier uh, when Rogan signed his exclusive deal with Spotify, they went ahead and removed about 80 episodes of his podcast Mm -hmm. uh, where he used the n-word during them oh lots of folks were talking about this such as this gentleman who took to facebook to post bottom line they want to take joe's freedoms away anyone who supports this supports slavery i don't give a fuck if he was the world's biggest piece of shit he still has the right to say what he wants no one had the right to take that away again if you think i'm wrong you support slavery Mm. These industry puppets are doing it because he's showing people the truth. That authority is a lie and slavery. He's making people think for themselves, ask questions, research on their own. You can have the population too smart. That's why the system dumbed down the education. It's all connected. If you don't see it, you need to start thinking for yourself. All the information is public. Knee science is no longer an option in today's society. As a mor- morality declines, slavery inclines. As morality inclines, freedom inclines. Uh, and this got mm. 14 ha ha reacts on it. So, <laughs> so t- they're, t- they're hiding the truth by giving him $200 million to do his show. That's right. Yeah. They're silencing him. But what they're silencing is the only thing they're silencing is the episodes where he just explicitly says the end. <laughs> so that is literally all they're silencing right now. Even the COVID stuff, they seem to stop caring about that once yeah, I think all pretty, the boycotting artists gave up. Yeah, like uh, within a week, I think. Yeah. 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 A lot of slavery talk in that post, weirdly. Don't know how that works necessarily. As far as slavery goes, getting paid 200 million bucks, one of the best kinds of slavery, I got to say. <laughs> Sign Not thinking up. for yourself is slavery. Uh, selling out is slavery. Um, anyone who supports the the not using the N word is supporting <laughs> slavery. <laughs> I mean, you, you can just say like, I don't think they should have got rid of those episodes because he's a comedian doing jokes or whatever without turning it into some slavery thing. You know, I have a feeling this guy probably turns a lot of things into slavery things. Wow. So. I've, there's a lot of opinions like that online, a lot of arguments where it's like, I would love to agree with you, but you turned it into some very weird metaphor that really hard to, hard to talk about it with you. <laughs> like, it's not, this isn't a <laughs> life or death thing. It's, it's a comedian saying the soft A N word every <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> no big deal. 
All right, we're going to stop right here because we're going to finish the rest of this episode over on patreon.com slash report this post. That's right. If you enjoyed this first 20-ish to 30-ish minutes of the episode, you'll be happy to know that there's about an hour extra of this one over there uh, on patreon.com slash report this post. Head over there. And all you got to do is subscribe for five bucks a month. You'll get every single full episode with dozens of more posts a month, plus an additional bonus episode every single week. Unbelievable. This is literally millions of posts that we read on the air uh, every single month, possibly billions. I have not counted. In fact, I can't count. I'm actually illiterate as well. But irregardless, patreon.com slash report this post, and we'll see you over there, and God bless. <laughs>